A new report in Diabetes, Obesity, and Metabolism suggests that insulin glargine 300 units per milliliter provides glycemic control equivalent to that of insulin glargine 100 units per milliliter with less hypoglycemia across a wide range of HbA1c levels in people with type 2 diabetes. Hypoglycemia is a key factor limiting optimal glycemic control in diabetes. In treating diabetes, Glargine 300 has more stable and prolonged pharmacokinetic and pharmacodynamic profiles than Glargine 100. Previous analysis of data from the addition 1, 2, and 3 clinical trials showed that this translated into less hypoglycemia and comparable glycemic control with Glargine 300 relative to Glargine 100. However, the analysis was unable to assess whether the reduced risk was limited to individuals with a particular HbA1c level or whether it was achieved irrespective of the degree of glycemic control attained. To address this question, researchers performed a patient-level pooled analysis of 2,496 participants with type 2 diabetes in the addition 1, 2, and 3 studies. Patients were equally randomized to receive either Glargine 300 or Glargine 100. The rates of confirmed or severe hypoglycemia over six months treatment were modeled as a function of HbA1c at month six. In this analysis, a significant inverse relationship between hypoglycemia rate and HbA1c at six months was seen. No difference in this relationship was observed between Glargine 300 and Glargine 100 treatments. Participants treated with Glargine 300 experienced a significantly lower rate of confirmed or severe hypoglycemia at night compared with those treated with Glargine 100 regardless of HbA1c at six months. This finding is generally consistent with the individual addition 1, 2, and 3 trials. For hypoglycemia at any time of day, the pooled results seem driven mainly by the addition 2 and 3 trials whereas the addition 1 and 2 trials appear to drive the results for hypoglycemia at night. These variations may be due to study-specific differences in concurrent or prior insulin use. In the addition 1 study, participants were taking mealtime insulin in addition to basal insulin. Participants in the addition 3 trial were insulin-naive prior to the study. Overall, the results suggest that treatment with Glargine 300 versus Glargine 100 could allow individuals with type 2 diabetes to achieve equivalent glycemic control with less hypoglycemia, or better glucose control with the same risk of hypoglycemia across a wide range of HbA1c levels.